Hey guys, today I've got another HP Tuners Tech Tip for you. So if you've got an LS engine and you're thinking about going turbo, you're going to want to watch this because today I'm going to show you how to convert to a two or three bar operating system with HP Tuners. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up a file for a 411 PCM. This happens to be John's uh, 5.3, his 2000 Silverado that I have yet to tune. I keep promising I'm going to do that. Anyway, what you want to do, you open your tune file. You go over here to OS. Click on this. And it's going to show you uh, what's available for you to convert to. Now, in his case, uh, the, 411, the 411 PCMs usually have just a ton of options here. Uh, you can see just enhanced real-time tuning. This is one bar. You can do two bar real time tuning, three bar real time tuning, uh, one bar math enhanced real time tuning. So you can, you know, you'll still have your uh, math sensor there. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to click on two bar. Everything I do here will also apply to three bar if you decide to run that. You're just, you know, you're going to have more stuff to fill in. So anyway, we'll go ahead and click apply modification. It's going to ask you right here. Um, or tell you right here to complete um, the OS enhancement. These are the steps you have to follow. You know, you're going to want to save the file with a new name, obviously. Very important. Um, once you burn this file to your PCM, um, you're not going to be able to go back unless you have a copy of your old file. Okay, so really important. Make sure you keep a copy of your old file. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on OK. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to hit file save as and you know we've got our original file name here and we're just going to say two bar we'll save that in our folder then we're going to close this file and reopen it and there's our new file there so we're going to reopen that All right, now what you're going to want to do is go over here and look under engine tab, okay? Now, again, I want to specify what we're doing right now is for the 0411 PCMs. So that's the early 99 through, I believe, 2002 uh, Silverado PCMs. So you go over here, click on fuel, click on power enrichment. And the first thing you're going to notice if you're used to looking at this is you usually do not have this right here. This is your boost enrichment map. All right. Now everybody's seen your EQ map here, and this is based on RPM. You know, it changes your uh, air fuel ratios once you're in power enrichment mode. But now with this new system, what we have is a boost enrichment map. So what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to change your enrichment based on boost. The good thing about this is where this is RPM dependent, uh, this is boost dependent. So if you know, you're running a smaller turbocharger, even if you're running a larger turbocharger, you might not be at full throttle, but you're still getting boost. So you want to be able to fatten up your mixture uh, under those conditions, not just under wide open throttle. This table right here is going to do that for you. So what you're going to do is go in here. You want to change this immediately, <laughs> okay? Because right now it's set at 1.0 all the way across. So, you know, obviously it's going to do nothing. You're going to stay at a 14.68, uh, uh, a Stoich uh, air fuel mixture, you know, at wide open throttle. Or, I'm sorry, in this case under boost, you don't want that to happen. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. Uh, I recommend setting this for somewhere around a, um, I don't know, 11.5 uh, AFR up to probably around 14 pounds of boost. That should be fine. Um, anything above that, you're, you're going to want to start fattening up even more, maybe going down to an 11.2 or even an 11.0. Uh, you know, it just it depends on what you need. So uh, you can adjust that there. Also, you'll notice right here. This, this is that uh, this map is going to take over 
at 110 kPa. Well, 105 kPa is atmosphere. Okay, guys, so um, that's one bar. 105 kPa is one bar. Uh, now, you might be thinking, well, I thought one bar was 14 psi. Well, it is, but <laughs> this is where it might be just a hint confusing. Um, one bar is actually atmospheric pressure, which is, you know, 14 point whatever uh, psi. So that's why we need a two bar or larger map sensor if you're going to be boosting. So pretty much the first bar, um, it just it doesn't count because you're just at atmospheric pressure. So anyway, that being said, this will take over at 110 kPa or above, which is when you're just starting to get into boost. The next thing we want to look at is our VE table. If you open that up, ah, look what we've got here. Now you're, you'll remember our original VE table only went to 105 kPa like we were just talking about. All right. Now that we have done the two bar conversion, you'll see it goes all the way to 210, which is two bar. It's actually like I was just explaining. It is one bar above atmosphere. Now what you're going to see here with this 411 uh, PCM is when we did the conversion, it did not carry over our tune up to 105 kPa. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to open our original file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click off this. I'm going to go over here. I actually made a folder just for this little project. We're going to open our original file in a new window here. And we're going to go back over here to Airflow and go to our primary VE table. Ah, there's all our settings. So I'm just going to click up here, right click, hit copy, and then we're going to go to our new file, click up here, and hit paste. So now you can see we have copied over our whole pre-boost, that's what I'm going to call it, our whole pre-boost tune into our new file here. You are going to have to tune everything from 110 kPa up. Now, there's two ways you can go about doing that. The first way, and the way I recommend, is you can go on the HP Tuner site to the Tune Suppository. <laughs> I just said suppository. I meant repository. That's hilarious. Anyway, you can go to the tune <laughs> repository. Sorry, guys. And just, you know, type in turbo, whatever it is you have. Look for a tune that's kind of similar. And uh, you can just copy the 110 and up KPA tables out of that, paste them in here. Uh, now, I don't recommend just throwing it in there and running it, but, uh, you know, that should give you a good base map to go along with. Um, Another way you can do this, and if you know if you just want to start from scratch, but this you know could be a little iffy, is what I'll generally do is I will take this last row if I'm starting from scratch. Just take this last row here, copy that, bring it all the way down. Now this was your last row. This was at one bar. Okay, bring it down to two bar. Paste that in at two bar and add 25% to it. Okay, so that gives you your 25% fueling. Okay, so that gives you 25% more fueling at two bar than at one bar. Then you're going to highlight this area here and you're just going to go up here and you're going to say interpolate between vertical bounds. All right. That's going to give you a bit of a starting point. Again, it's not going to be super accurate. You see, it's just a straight up table, but you know, it tapers up, should keep you from running lean. That's just the way uh, I do it. If I'm just, you know, <laughs> if, if I don't have a base map to start with. The last thing that you really need to be concerned with here are your spark tables okay so we're going to go over here and click on our high octane spark table now his actually aren't bad because they've not really been modified at all 
but what I recommend is going here to about uh, 0.56 on your air mass, 0.56 grams, and just kind of grabbing everything from there down and go ahead and setting all that at, you know, probably around 12 or 13 degrees of timing and work your way up from there. Um, you know, it's just, it's a better safe than sorry scenario. But again, something else you can do, as I mentioned with the VE tables, is you can always go and, uh, you know, the tune that you looked, the tune that you uh, looked up for, you know, copying over for your VE tables, um, you could also start with their uh, timing tables. But keep in mind that whatever tune you use, uh, if you're copying a tune over, they've probably already optimized all this for, for their specific setup. So what you're going to want to do is if you do copy it over, I would go ahead and pull out some timing uh, just to be on the safe side because, you know, you, your vehicle may be heavier or have uh, higher gearing and, you know, you don't, <laughs> you, you don't want to start off with too much timing. That's why I say it's, it's better to go conservative on your timing starting out. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys a P59 PCM, uh, you know, so you guys can kind of see what's going on with that. And what makes it different from the 411? Go to open. No, we're not saving changes at this time. And right here. Now, what this is, this is my tune for Project Stepping Wolf, my current tune. Um, this is, you know, pre-turbo. <laughs> so we're just, that's what we're going to use because Steppenwolf has a P59. Now, just like we did with the 411, we're going to go up here and click on this to show our options. Now, <laughs> you are going to notice with most P59s, you have a lot less options than you do with most 411s. Uh, if you remember, we had all these real-time tuning options and everything. Uh, now you're starting to see why the 411 is such a popular PCM to use with swaps. There's, you know, this is just one of many reasons, okay? But um, I'm, I'm about to show you another one. Anyway, uh, our only options here are two bar or three bar. Real-time tuning is not available on this PCM. Sucks for me because this is the PCM I'm going to be using. Anyway, uh, same procedure. We're going to do two bar. And like I said before, three bar, same process. We're going to hit apply code. It gives us our little pop-up message. We're going to OK that. Then we're going to come up here. We're going to hit save as. And just like we did the other, we're just going to throw a little um, two bar just to differentiate this one from, uh, from the original tune. We'll save that. Then again, we're going to close this and reopen it. Very important, guys. Before you make any changes, you want to reopen it. Uh-oh. There we go. Now I can see it. All right. Well, let's open our tune, and let's see what's different with the P59. So we're going to go over here to engine. And, um, you know, as far as our spark and everything, you can treat that the same way. Um, I'll just go ahead and say that, you know, you can see I'm obviously going to have to pull a buttload of time in here because I had a lot of time in this. But uh, same thing, guys. You can copy it from another tune or you can just grab all this from here down and 12 or 13 it out to start and then just add timing, you know, as, as you get to that stage of tuning. Now, up here in fueling, power enrichment. We got the same thing going on uh, with our power enrichment here. You know, it, this is all the same. You want to make the same changes to all this. Nothing different here. Now we're going to go over to airflow, and this is where you're going to see the difference, okay? When we go to our main VE table. Now, if you remember, our old VE tables went in a resolution that was multiples of five. Now, this is the difference I was talking about, uh, the main difference uh, other than the options of operating systems you can switch to between a 411 PCM and a P59 PCM. Uh, with the 411 PCM, we didn't get this stacking effect. Um, what happened was the resolution stayed the same all the way through one bar. 
and it just stacked the second bar, you know, uh, after it. So we still had multiples of five in our resolution, you know, for our VE tables. With the P59, it does not add the extra bar there. Okay, what it does instead is it just uh, it chops the resolution in half to make room for it. So the table doesn't get any bigger. You can see I'm scrolling. That's just, that's your whole table now. It's just an inconvenience. If you remember with the 411 PCM, what we did is is we just you know brought up another file and we copied all the tables and pasted them over. Well, <laughs> with the P59, it's a little more difficult. Uh, because what you have to do, uh, if you see, let me switch back. If you see what it has done is it has just taken and left all of these populated with our original tune. Well, obviously that's not going to work. Okay. So with the P59, instead of being a simple copy paste, you have to go in here and do it a row at a time. And it starts right here at 30 KPA. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to copy your 30 KPA ta uh, table, copy it. Then you're going to have to go back over here on your new tune, go to the 30 KPA table, paste that in. Okay. Then you're going to have to go back over here. It, it really is kind of a, a pain in the rear guys. You have to go over here, skip your 35, go straight to your 40 copy, then go back over here. Go to your 40, paste. You, you see where I'm going with this, right? Once you get up to 100 KPA, that's as high as you're going to be able to go uh, without being in boost on the P59. Once you get to there, then you'll use our same trick. We'll go over here. We'll find our 100 KPA. We'll copy that. Then we'll come back over here. 100 KPA paste that in okay now we're skipping all this i'm just you know to make this video a little shorter i'm not going to sit here and copy it all over right now and so then you know we've we've already got that line saved so we're going to come all the way down here and we'll go to 210 and we'll paste that in there but what we're going to do since we pasted or since we copied from the 100 kpa table not the 105 kpa table uh you know since we lost that and we had to go up a little bit more what we're going to do is instead of adding 25% uh, we're going to go ahead and add say 28% uh, just to be safe and we'll add that to that table see what it did here to our graph and then we can go ahead and do the whole uh, interpolate thing and you've got your slow steady climb there again my recommended method is to find a tune sim similar to yours and just copy and paste that. But, uh, you know, in a pinch, you don't have access to that. Uh, you know, that's a way to start and just take it easy when you're tuning, guys. You don't want to run out of fuel. All right, guys. Now, this is the most important part and the very end. When you go to write this to your vehicle, you know, everybody's used to just writing calibration, right? This is very important. If you don't remember anything else about this video, remember this. When you have converted to a different operating system like we just did, or this goes with segment swaps as well, you cannot just write calibration. It's not going to work. Um, I've never done it, so I can't say for sure, but rumor is you can brick your PCM that way, uh, which basically means your PCM is a paperweight, you have to do a right entire. So now that I've showed you guys how to do this, I actually need to go out here and do it myself. If this video and it helped you out, go ahead and click the like button. Um, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time on Bad Luck Garage.